All right, how's everyone doing today? Thanks for dropping by. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and share the videos around. Well, today, I don't know if you can tell, I am in my greenhouse today. The sun is out. It's a nice temperature in here. Uh, warm, nicer than it has been. Uh, it's actually warmer out today. It's been minus 30 the past few weeks. And it's supposed to get up to uh, two or three degrees in the next few days, which is pretty awesome. But the reason why I'm in here is because we've been hatching chickens for, I guess, since November. And some of the birds have grown up now. And we want to put them into the greenhouse here so that they can kind of scratch up the dirt, eat some of the leftover stuff in the garden from last year. And when it warms up, get some of the bugs out and whatnot and fertilize it. I know for chicken manure, it should sit around for about a year or two before you use it, but it's a big area here. And by the time we get them uh, vegetables planted, it should be okay, I would think. Anyways, what I did uh, a few days ago is I made a little chicken roost here. Just something quick and easy. Like a little A-frame, just so that they can roost on it in the nighttime. And we brought some water out here and some food for them. The water is most likely going to freeze on us, but we'll have to uh, bring fresh water out every day. And we have, I think, 12 chickens out here right now. Didn't really count them. These ones are big enough and enough feathers up. We have, uh, I think we have probably another four more in the chicken brooder. That probably need another two or three weeks before we can bring them out. So the sun's getting bright here. And so we'll let them stay in the coop for a few more days or probably another week or two so they get more feathers on them. And then we'll probably have another like 40 baby ones in there. They're probably about three weeks old now, maybe four weeks. So once they get big enough and enough feathers, we'll bring them out here. And as well, we have another, I think four dozen hatching right now in the incubator inside. We have, I think about 12 about to hatch. Uh, I heard one pipping this morning. So yeah, that's the plan with the chickens in here and they can scratch it all up. It's pretty awesome. You can see in here, it's already warm enough today. It's melting all the ice, which is awesome. So once it melts really well in here, I'm gonna have to rework all this stuff obviously and level it all out, like I said before, but it's gonna be awesome. So the idea is the newer chickens, put them in here so they can scratch around and grow up in here and then when it's time to put them with the other chickens, they'll be big enough. Because last time we put a few chickens in there, last month, the other chickens picked on them and killed a few of them, which kind of sucks. But chickens are vicious. If you haven't had chickens, they are vicious animals <laughs> towards each other sometimes. But that's the way it goes. It's nature. Anyways, yeah, we put our chickens in here, starting to do some work for us. So I'm all about less work and the animals can do it all for us. So it's a good spot, it's a 20 by 30 area. They have lots of room. And the other reason we brought them out today, because it's warmer, so they can start to acclimatize to the weather and be in the greenhouse here, it's warmer. And it's not as cold as being outside, so they can acclimatize a lot better. And if we'll check the temperatures. If it drops down too cold, we may take them back inside for the night if it gets down to like minus 20 or so. But I'm not expecting it to do that. Anyways, guys, there's a great use for your greenhouse in the wintertime if you're not using it for overwintering veggies like spinach and carrots and things like that. You put your chickens in here to scratch it up and uh, work the soil for you. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you out there. Have a great day.